you know very well how Instagram changes all the time. That's why having a fully and highly optimized profile is super important in order to boost your discoverability and your growth despite all the algorithm changes. Yet, this is one of the most common and easily avoidable mistakes that most creators and online entrepreneurs make. Think of your Instagram profile as your online business card. If it doesn't immediately convey who you are, what you offer, and why people should follow, you're missing out on valuable opportunities. Luckily for you, my friend, we're gonna be covering six steps that you should take right now in order to fix your Instagram profile and start getting more organic profile visits. But before we're getting started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're looking to grow, monetize your personal brand on social media because I share weekly videos that are gonna help you do this. Now, let's get started with step number one, which is your Instagram handle. This is the first thing that people notice when they come to your profile. As a matter of fact, this is the only thing that people see when you're commenting on someone else's post or when they see your content on the Explorer page or real stuff. So it should be memorable and search friendly. If you're a personal brand, using your name is great, but to really boost your discoverability, consider adding keywords related to your niche. For example, ig.creatoracademy. It's obvious that I am targeting creators looking to grow or learn more about Instagram. Travel with Talia for anyone looking for travel inspiration or get fit with Sandy for anyone looking to get fit. These handles not only make it clear what they're about, but also help their profiles appear in the search results when users are looking for content within those niches. Step number two is to perfect your profile photo. Your profile photo is the face of your brand on Instagram. It should be welcoming, professional, and instantly recognizable. Ideally, it should be a clear headshot where your face is fully visible, projecting a warm and friendly look. I don't care if you're a product business, you should always show a face in your profile photo. No logos because we are in an era where as humans, we wanna connect with other people. We have more trust in accounts when we actually see a face. Unless you're Nike, you shouldn't be using a logo in your profile photo. Also, if you have a branded color, make sure to use it in the background of your profile photo to enhance brand recognition. This small detail will help you create a cohesive visual identity, making your profile more memorable. Step number three, fine tune your field name. Your field name is what appears at the top of the bio. It should usually have your first and last name, but it should also incorporate two to three niche related keywords. You can use tools like Google Trends, SEMrush, or even AI tools like ChatGPT or Google Gemini to research the best keywords that describe what you do. When you think about keywords, you have to type into your audience's mind and think how they would search for content in your niche, what types of keywords or phrases they would type on the search bar. And that's what you need to put in your name field. So coming back to our fitness example, if you're Sandy, get fit with Sandy, your name field could be Sandy, your last name, and then fitness coach and nutrition expert. Simple as that. By strategically using these keywords, you enhance your profile's discoverability, increasing the chances of showing up in the search results. Step number four, craft a compelling bio. Your Instagram bio should be a clear and concise summary of who you are, what you offer, and who you serve. A great bio typically includes the following elements. The value proposition and ideal customer avatar. So you can start with a statement like helping X achieve Y or helping X get more Y. The second thing is social proof. Include a snippet that boosts your discoverability, especially if you have a smaller audience such as featured in Forbes or more than 10,000 happy clients. And the third is a call to action, where you direct your visitors to take action, whether it is by DM you a specific keyword or clicking in the link in your bio for more information. A well-structured bio not only tells followers what to expect, but also guides them on what to do next. Here's an example of a well-structured bio, helping entrepreneurs scale their online business with AI-driven strategies. Feature in Forbes, DM me scale for a free consultation. Step number five is to utilize highlights strategically. Most creators clutter their highlights with tons and tons of stories that offer little to no value. 
Highlights are way more than just storage for all your Instagram stories from the past. They're an essential tool for introducing new followers to your brand and services. Here are some of the key highlights that you must have in your Instagram profile. Number one is start here, where you introduce your brand and your story. Number two, testimonials, where you share case studies or testimonials of happy clients and customers. Number three, your paid offers, where you showcase your products, services, or any other special deal. And number four, your free offers, where you promote your lead magnets, such as eBooks or free courses. Having five to 10 well-structured and organized highlights can significantly enhance your profile's effectiveness by guiding new visitors through the most important aspects of your brand. And step number six, curate your feed with purpose. Gone are the days when every single pose had to be meticulously created or you had to spend hours and hours creating these beautiful designs on Canva. Nowadays, it's more about the value and the content. However, your feed should still have some sort of brand cohesiveness. Use the same fonts, the same colors, but don't spend hours and hours creating it anymore. And let's talk about the first three pinned posts that you should have in your Instagram feed. Number one is a storytelling post where you tell the story of your brand and you connect more with your audience. The number two is a lead generation post. You wanna have a post that will get you constant leads, where you talk about your free offer, your lead magnet, etc. And the third post is a conversion post, where you're directly promoting your offers or services, making it very clear how followers can benefit. Another thing you have to keep in mind is to make sure that the titles, both for your carousels and reels, are readable. That means that when someone comes to your profile for the first time and they're scrolling down, they can get an idea of what each post is about so that they know what your content is about, which will entice them to hit that follow button. I see a lot of profiles that don't use titles, don't use covers, and it's just not very clear what the content is about. Now, I'm not saying you should be creating covers for every reel. What I like to do is I like to add the title at the top of every reel, and I just leave the first frame or first few seconds of the frame as the cover of my reel. That way I make sure that everyone knows what my reel is about, same with carousels. I use big fonts, bold fonts, so that it's easy to read what each carousel is about. Now let's wrap up. Optimizing your Instagram profile is a straightforward yet powerful way to boost your profile visibility and to attract more followers. So if you've been struggling with low engagement and slow growth, taking the time to audit and refine your profile could be the game changer you're looking for. Now, if you need extra help, I'm super excited to announce that I'm launching the Instagram Profile Auditor GPT. This is a GPT that I created specifically designed to help you audit your Instagram profile. If you wanna get this, it is completely free and I'm sharing a link in the description of this video so that you can go grab it now, go use it, audit your profile, implement those changes, and I promise you're gonna start seeing the results that you want. Now, if you made it up till here, thank you so much. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here, give those thumbs up. If you learned something new and please leave a comment, tell me what you love the most about this video. It's really gonna help me with the algorithm to push this video to more people that need to grow on Instagram. Thank you so much and until next week.